How many witnesses were there? Uh, I believe there was Mr. Gianforte and there were five other people present. Was was the victim trespassing on the premises? Was he invited there as a member of the media? I don't know the answer to that. Will the sheriff's department be releasing the video taken by some local news stations that are that allegedly exist? Uh, if there is video, then we will retrieve that and that will be a part of the investigation. How much uh, does the special election influence how fast you proceed with the investigation? It does. Can you provide any more details on the identity of the No. When do you expect uh, files to be charged, or will uh, anybody be charged? Do we know when that will be? How long will this investigation be? We will, well, we, these normal investigations, the way we do this, which is exactly the way we're going to do it with this one. We're not treating this one any different. We're going to interview the victim. We're interviewing all of the witnesses. Once we have all of that information, we will attempt to interview Mr. Gianforte. Um, he has a right in the world to refuse to speak with us. Is there any reason why no charges were filed at the time of the incident? Because we did not have all the information. Has he refused to talk to you at this point? We have not even sold it. Okay. Except at the initial scene. Does, does his immediate departure from the scene constitute any like fleeing scene of a crime or anything like that? That'll be a part of the investigation. At the scene, we overheard uh, one of the fire chief uh, deputies telling Gio Forte if any body parts are hurting to come back to medical uh, facilities up tomorrow or when they when they start. Was Gio Forte hurt at all? Or? I have no idea. In the interview, when your deputy spoke to Jan Forte at the scene, did he report any injuries to himself? I don't know. So what you have to understand is when we go on scene like this, the initial deputies, all they're trying to do is find out both sides of the story, find out what's happening. So we're talking to all the parties and trying to get a, an overall view of what occurred, who was involved, and then we get into depth, more depth. So we called in our detective division just to find out what's going on. The Were there any law enforcement there prior to this happening? Okay. Did you expect this event to turn violent? No. Sheriff, can you provide more information on the 911 call center getting inundated with calls? Who they were coming from specifically? Uh, mostly from the media, mostly from out of state. Uh, so that's the first number that they can find. But then after that, we're getting, come, we're getting calls from the public. From obviously every political point of view that you can imagine with their two cents worth, and that's not the place for that. Will you try to expedite this investigation at any uh, accelerated speed for uh, the purpose of uh, the voters on election day tomorrow, special election day? So I've been in contact with uh, Marty Lambert, our county attorney. We'll be visiting with him first thing in the morning, and we'll have more information. Do you know if there was a TV? channel or a uh, TV station that caught this on camera by chance? We do not have any evidence or any information about any video, only the audio. Anything else? As law enforcement, how is covering, or how is dealing with all the press and dealing with everything? Uh, after this week, this is the last thing. How long do you expect Ben Jacobs to be with you guys? Do you know that he might be available to press later? I'm sorry, say again. Do you know, is, how, do you know how long Ben Jacobs is going to be with you guys or if he might be available to speak to press later? Uh, I don't. I would imagine our interview is going to take a while. But obviously, uh, I would guess a couple hours. Okay. How do you weigh audio recording as evidence? Uh, I don't weigh it. The attorneys and the judge so, but we actually, uh, you know, any evidence that we can get to find out exactly what happened to provide facts is obviously very important. Are you aware of any emergency incidents that these, like, in it, that this inundation of 911 calls has prevented you from responding to? No, only that dispatch has contacted me and also our deputy saying, please say something to them and have them stop. Are there any other 
A spokesman, a spokesman for the GM Forte campaign um, mentioned that uh, the victim had uh, entered the room uninvited. Is that true? Do we know if that's the case or not? Or was he welcome into the room? All of that information is part of the investigation. All set? Thank you. Thank you.